Right, so here we go again, part six. This might be the last one for this, but um, I might do another one for hardcore as well. I probably will see how we can do up in the very north of Norway. As far up as we can get, where we get not only a river, but also the river going out into the ocean. And so far, there's only one place that does it. Let me see, it is uh, uh, it's up here here and then this is how far you can go north you cannot get any higher so we go a little bit further down just a little bit to roughly here yeah you probably see me play a big hardcore tribes there while there was fairly much food but uh, you won't see me doing a 400 plus hardcore here with the low amount of food we have now that's basically for sure <laughs> that's basically for sure right so let me see how many graves do we have yeah <clears throat> so what are we waiting for now is to for me to get my bombing gear and actually give everyone a play place to sleep and then we are going to do the first because now we are 80 i would like 85 to 90 before i start but i'm going to start uh, soon because we can now spend 28 people on at least one maxed out farm what I also like to do when I have farms is that I build the housing um, more or less in it. I, I form the farms around the houses and then I also like to place animals uh, on one side of the long houses. Uh, so I have a square or something with animal things in it and then the rest of the square with stone is with the farm. And I want it to be integrated into the walls of the long houses. Yeah, but we just need to get long houses because we can't we can't even see them yet. Yeah, because we're so far west that it will take some time before we before it comes to us. But remember, the closer you are to east, well, this is the near east. Yeah, so the closer you are to this, the sooner you will get it. Yeah, or south as well. South as well, down here, like the entire coast route was fairly quick in comparison to, well, Norway got it last. I mean, we still have some ice age in Norway. Anyway, we're still not out of the ice age in Norway. So there. Yeah. Okay, now when this one done, then, what is 10% of 80? That's 8. And this one is 7. Oh, does that mean I will lack one sleep spot? One sleep spot. <laughs> or as I want. So look at the food. We have, we have, okay, so these, have I locked down these? Is that why they are rotting away? Or is my thingy? No, it's open to eat. So this kind of just means that it is enough food everywhere. I'm going to lock down these now though. And these I'm going to lock fairly early because I want to fold this one. Episode. So if you, if you count between 20 to 30 it cells, uh, seeds per 900 max farm, you are okay. So so one seed, one unit of seed can do roughly 30-ish. What's this? What is that? Is that just grass? It is growing up in my field. How dare you? How dare you? What's this? This is a, a bush of some kind. It would probably be a birch. Yeah, I think it's a, a baby birch. So now I also want my animals to... Oh. Why do I have two of those? This is the stud. I don't have a female, so there won't be any babies. Oh, I seem to have a female of this one. Yes. Middle-aged. Okay, she can still have babies. Although the probability lowers the elder she becomes, just like with humans. After females are 30, their probability of coming pregnancy is lowering and lowering and lowering until they reach uh, 50, where it ends with zero. There is no chance of getting pregnant after 50. So at 51, you will never see anyone getting pregnant. They might get pregnant the moment they tick over to 50, so you see that they are pregnant at 50. It doesn't mean that they become pregnant at 50, because they don't. 
they do not right so how are we doing with this it's still not done yeah it's, it's one isn't it like one flipping percent five why did it say ten percent and this one ten percent of eighty is eight right and this one takes seven that means it should be one percent something here is not right seriously something is wrong unless some of these need repairs of course which they do not and now it's six what is this this schmick schmuck okay well we'll make another one then also new you can see the spots available for everything now and remember where you see the small where, where is it where is it there are a small arrow pointing to the, the way so when you see the green here you see the green at the, at the uh, entrance it has an arrow pointing in and that's the only one there so if you wonder where the entrance is you see that the cluster to up a bit has three that means sitting and repairing point and the single cluster in front of the entrance is entrance only no other um, services sharing that and the two to the right are sitting and repairing point yeah so now you know that let me see because that has been changed this also means i'm really happy to say uh where is it there it means now you can see look you can see all the points of sitting where they can sit so five people can sit i've never seen five people sit together they used to be three only but here's the thing if you want to stop them from sitting on both sides like introverts with their faces into the wall put it so far in that you get two red ones i can't do it here let me see if i can find something else to be done i need a longer side like this side here let's see here because we want the, the two spots to not be used because we want don't want them to be inside the walls so let's look at here can you see that those two have turned red now that means if i place that one there they will never sit the wrong way anymore just keep that in mind you can do this as well it works on on the longer um straight lines but not on the round ones oh it doesn't work well on the round ones it's a bit bob bob to be honest so there let me see oh we should still be 80. 84 so what i said last time i think i'm going to stick to that we are actually starting with a a flax and i'm going to aim for an uh, area that is not full of trees so I go a little bit inside these here and then i pull it all the way out and then i press control and then place down more to belong to the same farm and then you get full 900 held farm so you place down the farm without dropping it without dropping the mouse click but you press control on your mouse no the keyboard press control on the keyboard yeah you know what i mean <laughs> you know what i mean so let's do it again you ding it then you let go but don't let go of the, 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 this one this I yeah, do circulation with let's keep it there then press control and you can add to the same yeah and to get rid of it you instead press alt if it turns red then it removes it see oops that was the wrong one this one oh wait I let go the I'm an idiot I let go so it won't go I'll show you how to actually do it. Oh my god, I've forgotten how to do it. Hang in there, it gets to me now. Seriously? Oh, I let go of it. Hang in there, I need to. <laughs> okay, number one, don't let. Okay, this is just idiotic. Don't let go of the tool. Just keep the tool. But press Alt on your keyboard. And then you can remove. When you first let go of the construction tool, then you will never manage to do any of them but you have to place down and keep the construction tool then you can both add and remove yeah that that was painful to get done because i've forgotten how to do it myself i, I forgot how to remove you know when you when you play 
You just do it automatically when you're used to it. But when you have to explain it, it's like you're stopping the automatic process that you always use when you do it. So, yeah. Right. And there you go. It's like when you suddenly take over the automated process of walking in stairs. I don't recommend doing it because you could actually face plant. You will certainly stop dead in your tracks. You should try to do that. It's a, it's a bit of a, a, a mind thing to do, that you take control over yourself. Don't let the automated um, processes talk down processes in your brain. Continue to walk up the stairs. Take over the walking. Don't stop. Take over the walking and realize you might fall. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't do it unless you're holding on to something because I almost face planted when I did it. It's, <laughs> it's insane. I oh, don't know, it's insane. Why do I have two that is not in the housing group? Oh, your stone works, duh. I knew that. Let me see. So, whatever this group does not have will not be shining. Yeah, there they are. Can you see? They don't have a white aura. That's how you can see what they already have. Hmm? Mm. Okay. So now we have more people. So now, so now it's five, even though we've got more people. What is this? I think this might be a little bit Bob Bob. Smidgen Bob Bob. And here we have 11. Okay then. Do we have repairs going on? I think I see one repair. There's a repair. On these stones, they have one less spot than these and the pelt uh, pit huts the pelt pit the pelt pit, pit the pelt huts also have four sleeping spots <laughs> the pit pelts pit pelts three is fine for now might not be for long i'm going to leave this one in tribe responsibility so that means everyone will go clear instead of only a few when you put it in a group uh, a maxed out group 56 can of course be taking care of it but I'm going to leave it in farm and try it for now just for now how much do I have of uh... should I have enough for two repairs yeah yeah Rope, do I have rope? Yeah, I have rope. I has rope. So they also, did I say, I did say, I just said they introduced more stones, uh, yeah, more raw stones, and also more flint cores, uh, especially by the coast, because there used to be very little. As uh, hardcore still have very little, absolutely everything, but that is just as it should be. Are you the male? No, you're the female. Get baby. Chop, chop. He's, he's getting old, yeah. He's gonna turn into an old man soon and he has a low, low fitness, so he will, he will die sooner than our normal goat. Can you see he doesn't have 100, he has 73. Cause uh, all, all um, animals when they reach old age, you know, the big leaf is old age, then their health will reduce from the health they have until zero and then they die. But if in a, in a in a herder group they will be slaughtered the second they turn old so this is why i remove the the old males from group i take always one male out the stud so that he shan't be killed because males can father offspring until the day they die yeah while the females are then useless when they are old because they will not give more milk nor will they give more offspring Let's see how these guys are doing now. It's too early. That kind of means we can turn this uh, small one here into the same. We can do them both. Oh, that was weird. Do you see, it was left behind. How extraordinary. What the heck? just did not want to take how odd I think it's because something is growing underneath and it's going to come up 
So the peas are quite happy here. They are quite high. You can see they are 73 now and they might go up a bit, but they also might go down a bit. Because this is the thing, even though it's green, you can go all the way down to 75 before it turns blue. It turns blue below, is it 75? I think it's 75, or maybe 70. Well, yeah, because it's 73 now, duh. So at 70, that's the last percentage it is before it goes blue. If it drops further, like 69, then it becomes blue. So you could have a bit of variation in the, the, the change there, also between the red and the blue. So there, yeah. Uh, what's that? Oh, or maybe I should be a bit smart now and get up stuff. Yes, be smart, Lily. We're going to have, what did I say? Was it three I said we we're going to have here? It was, wasn't it? Two, three. So we're going to start with those for now. There's no point putting uh, putting the beets in uh, any storage because they're the first thing they go for. We have so low calories, but people love the beets. And I have no idea why. They they will they will go for beets before they go for many of the other foods that have much more calories, which is really weird. But there you go. That's just the way it is. Oh, one long strip with nothing. Oh, this one needs. But you can see if you hover over them as they are growing, the plants, you can see temperature will be changing. See, now it's gone down one. It was 73, wasn't it? Or was it this one that was 73? No, this one is 100. This will have full output this year. So it will have a whatever max what you can get for this area anyway. There you go, see, look at them cleaning out all the brush and the weeds and, but uh, yeah, it's a lot to do, isn't it? Yeah, you see, what more is it of things that has been changed? Yeah, you know those uh, lovely little yellow things? There's, oh, let's see if I can find any. The, the Latin name is Ficara Verna or something like that. It's a small plant. That has yellow flowers. At least I think it's in game. Or is it only in testing? <laughs> you know, there is so much in testing that I don't always know if it's going in public or not. So I could be revealing things I shouldn't. Then I'm asking you guys to not remember that. Pretend you didn't know. <laughs> oh, how interesting. Never heard that before. <laughs> well, well. Well, if I can't find it, then I will not tell you what it does. Yeah? So at least some secrets are safe. <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, there's plenty of of, of um, situations where I've shown things I shouldn't. And some some very sharp minds are, are putting me up against the wall to have me say, Oh, is there sheep in the Is there sheep I see? And I said, No. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> so just, yeah, things are coming. But uh, until I can find Ficara Verna, then there's no such thing. Is that one? No. No. This is fern and nettle. And these are baby puppies. Are they baby puppies, I wonder? Probably. It's too early for them anyway. Let's see how they're gonna do with this one. Oh, now they started tilling. Oh, they should have started tilling earlier this day. Maybe I need to room torture them a bit. Why is it only thirty? Well, 30 should be enough because you have one day for clearing, one day for tilling and one day for planting. Yeah, I think, I think we're good. We're good. 
Yeah, there won't be enough flax. Where are my flax grain? Did I not lock it down? Oh my word, I forgot to lock it down. There will be no flax this year. <laughs> do something else. Oh my word. Let's do those. Then these oh, have already been planted. Okay. But not this one. I think I'm going to remove it because I think there's something growing up underneath that is stopping this stuff. Let's see if they have time to do it here. Yeah, it should be time to do some at least. So I need to close this one. This one needs to be open. Now I can open this. Let them eat. And I can open this. I'm going to make a few more of the threshers as well. Now that we are increasing the size on the farms. I'm going to have a look at you too. I'll take you anyway. Oh, you have increased food processing. This is good. She has increased uh, stone working. That's good also. And she has a female goat. Yes. More goats. She's a baby though. So she won't be able to give milk or... Look at all the things we can make. Yay. Yay for that. So now we basically started with getting the, the goat uh, population up. So now we have one male and three females. Is that one also a female? Let's uh, make this a goat. Because uh, when we get a female cow, a cow, then we need to change, make a new one for the cows, the cattle. Yeah. I normally do goats and goats one and goats two, you know, goats two and three. Because if you have too many animals in the same group, they won't manage to reach over them per day. So you need to make sure you spread them out on several groups. See, now he's old. Got the big leaf. So he's going to start to lose health more and more. Oh, we lack grave squawk. Squawk. Better get down some more. But remember to to not build them so close to each other that you can't reach them ship properly. You need to have at least one long side free. There are plenty of players who put them all together and then if you have another row, then nobody can reach the others because they won't step on the graves. But remember that they always give space for the graves. Let's see how far can they get, do you think? Oh, wow. They're going to actually manage to finish this, especially now there's over 50 people working on it. That's a bit nice. I did not expect them to manage that. But the, um, the uh, efficiency for the fast game mode has been increased. So that could be the reason why they managed to do it so quickly. I did not expect them to manage it so quickly. Look, it's full already. That means I can stop torturing them. There you go. Ta -da. They have made the slider more precise. And that is good because there was such an issue with, with, you know, the big groups like those who can take a gazillion people like this. It was so difficult to get it right. But now they are more precise. So this is good. Oh, I got another cow, didn't I? Or a thingy. Uh, male. Oh! I completely forgot about it because I was babbling along. So that means we need to make another herding group with cattle. With burgers. Gosh. I don't even eat, eat enough burgers. I need to eat more burgers. I love burgers. I like McDonald's not because I can feel the, the I can taste the meat but because I can't taste the meat I don't like the taste of meat I'm so weird I know I'm weird people say but Lily you like pizza yeah I do because you can't really taste the meat because it's so processed to death <laughs> but I do like bacon who doesn't like bacon wait did I get two animals oh another female but she's a baby she's a little baby 
Okay, let's get her as well into the group. There you go. Ta -da. So I explained the reason I have three, even if I just have one animal, is because three people can strip a corpse when they're old, when the animals are old and being slaughtered. So there. What do we not have? Beetroot subpulses here? Yeah, nope. That's about right. For now, look at look at all the, the peas. We actually really, really, really need to chill on the food. Let me see. Um, we really don't need a ton of food. Um, if yeah, these these we can easily do unlimited because we're going to give them to the to the animals. So the animals should be allowed to eat them. So where did I put the other ones? Uh, here. I'm going to swap this one around to this for now and then I'll add later when I've added more housing so we now are blue one percent one percent but do we have enough uh... there we do yeah we do so I'm going to place down another one so let's find the let me see so if we have it too close, then you see some of these spots can't be used. So this is really useful. So this is actually quite excellent, to be honest. You can see you're too close. You know you can build stuff organically. It doesn't mean you will retain all the service spots. So just keep that in mind, because this is a really good idea. Really, really good idea. There you go. Did we get up there? We did. Okay, so now there's plenty. Plenty graves for now. Let's see what else is there in the patch notes so besides things that are not mentioned but that I have tested anyway. Uh, for instance, um, I'm not sure if I've said this before, but a really good, really good news is, or more, please be female. Oh, it's, it's a strong male, really strong male. So I think this guy will be a new stud, even though this one eats less than this one. Look how big this one is. Holy fiddlesticks. That's a monster. A monster bull. So you, let me see how big he is. Oh, that's a big fucker. Look at the humans, how small they are in comparison. Seriously? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'll let him take over the main studs. I, I'm not gonna slaughter the other one yet, though. I want to get more more baby more babies okay so yeah um I'm, i was unsure if i said this to you guys before but um after you reach i think it's between 46 kbc depending where you are in in europe no that doesn't matter it's anywhere in europe anywhere that has atlantic coastline which is basically the entirety of western and southern europe no half of south and the entirety of the western will not have sea level rising anymore to to a point where you need to move your camp this is a huge thing and for anyone who does not understand it it means you can park your ass close to the ocean at 4k 5k maybe even 6k i'm not quite sure that always works but at least 4k bc and you will never have to leave because as it was before, you could easily go to Italy in 4K BC and get flooded after three sleeps. That doesn't make much sense, does it? Doesn't make sense at all. So now they have stopped it. I'm really happy about that. Seriously happy. Um, also, I have noticed something really weird among the player community. At least the, the new, the new players in the community is that they are not, they are not aware that they really should. Um, they are supposed to migrate in the Mesolithic timeline. The more population they get, the more needed it is for them to, to migrate. But if you control your population, you might not have to migrate, because I've shown you guys how to not migrate. But that's not what Mesolithic is. Mesolithic timeline is a migratory nomad hunter-gatherer timeline. So that is what the, the game is meant for. So now that the food has been clamped down upon so vividly, so hard, 
we might see more uh, migration. So when people say, oh, there's no food here, well, move on. Very simple. Hunt up the animal, fish up the fish, and harvest whatever you can of the food that is there. Stay there a few years, maybe 10, maybe 15, depending how good the locality is and how well you're doing with, with the harvesting correctly or, or gathering only for what tribe needs. Oh, hello. Yeah, I want to make that one. Really want to make that one. Look at her. She got poof architecture higher up. Levels. Good. So when you've hunted up everything, fished up everything, move on. Migratory lifestyle. That is what Mesolithic timeline is. Especially in the more northern parts of Europe. Because now there's even less food there. And this is done with my 100% blessing. Because there was way too much before. We had a small bug that we didn't notice until several weeks had passed. That made uh, all areas have three times more food than they should. And I saw people that... Um, are fairly new that could manage several hundred population in northern Norway and I knew immediately no something is wrong because so far only I manage it and because I have 14,000 hours played I manage it so don't think that you can't manage it because you, you've probably not even got a thousand hours played so there's something to that as well it doesn't mean that you guys can never do it okay you just need to learn the game in and out every small detail micromanagement etc etc that's all there is to it I do not have a special talent that you guys don't have. Yeah, just remember that. We all started on the same zero hours. Right, so yeah, I just hope that uh, more players will um, realize that it is a migratory um, timeline and don't think that something is wrong with the game. It isn't. If I had my will, there would even be less food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm strict. Let me see. Uh, these, I hope they will eat more of. And these need to be saved. You are saved and now. I need to also save you. Right. But we probably never have to save these again. So I'm going to just leave that. But I'm going to make a few more of these. We have. Okay. That's so. Oh, we have to fill these. Have we do? But we are going to do. No, we're going to put the easy to rot food, which of course is raw fish raw meat and I would like um, things that decay easily like yeah let's do the berries there we're gonna make more as well it's not like we're gonna make three only miss yeah I like to place um, baskets next to one next next to each hut so that they can go help themselves uh, and then only one thing at a time, so though they don't stand so much in queue to eat in front of their roundhouses. Because this is something we players need to, to keep an eye on. We need to give them options where to sit and eat. So don't chuck all your food baskets uh, or food uh, storages next to one building only. T try to, to, to balance it a bit and throw them a bit around. How many logs do we have? Yeah, we made it more, didn't we? Because we wanted to use this. Oh, I'm going to put it in my stone working group. There you go. So they can do this. Pretty cool. There you go. So this will increase the speed of appeasement reached for those who pray on this temple. Yep. Yeah. So that's what the wooden posts are doing. And it is also what... I hope they show these are doing and this one this is the big daddy this one will give you a hundred percent increased speed in how quickly you get appeased when you pray so these two in connection with each other is the best option I always build a little bit of everything because I think it's nice that's why I do it right let's go have a look at this basket so you can start taking some of the and you are gonna have see the honey has changed to look more real if you do it very closely if you see it very close you can see the proper uh, cells in it that it should be that it is in real life and this one I'm going to place these in I always tend to to start with to place those that will uh, decay fastest in the uh, in the storages 
Yeah. How are we doing with the hunters? Hunters. Yeah, you are doing vermin, aren't you? You are, yeah. There's not going to be a ton of meat from those to start with. Um, but now we've gone down on the food. Look, look at all the... Oh my gosh, look at all the peas we have. We have way too much peas. Way, way too many. Seriously. I'm going to change this to, to beets. Where are you jumping? Okay. Yeah. And next step will be to make our wheat farm. We're just probably going to need more of the ovens and the mills. Because we do want to rely on the bread and not the grains. Because people hate the grains. All grain types are like a punishment for them to eat. They can actually leave your tribe. If you continuously give them grains. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> also more changes. Is the slope effect on objects. Let's find some slopes. Do we have any slopes? Why can't we find it when we actually need it? What is this? Mm -hmm. Okay I see slopes over there. I think. Or oh, is it flat? No there you go. There are slopes here. Do you hear? This is slope terrain. This means that two of these spots cannot be taken. So this here, this means that three of the spots won't be taken. See? So now you can easily see exactly where to put things to get all the functionalities of the object. Here, oh yeah, because you see, if you remove the heap, all these will disappear. All the reds will become white. Because it just simply means that there's obstacles there. Right? And this means, no, uh oh, you can't place it here. But when everything is red, it will be red. Here, there's a small slope. We can avoid it over here, but not here. But you see, this is really, really useful for especially new players who doesn't know by heart everything. There you go. Let me see. I won't need to save any of these. Because there's so many of them. Uh, 53. I can do more. Let's do more of the baskets. Now that we started, we just have to continue. Let me see. You can have a basket here. You can have a basket here. There you go. Yeah, so the, the slope fixing with the uh, service points is really good. It's... They've made it more possible to have at least some in some slopes, but uh, the the red compared to the white will for sure show you what can and can't be done. And then you can make really good decisions yourself without having too much issues with only one people, one person using the bench. And with that, they've also made the the uh, wait time before they go find a new spot are much shorter so they don't stand around twirling the upper body for half or half a year before they move on they will move on fairly quickly but remember that crafters will never sit on their bums they will never on their bums they will never sit on their bums on the ground their bums will always be on something it will either be a bench in a house a log or whatever a stone yeah so keep that in mind if you don't have nothing they will go far to find somewhere to sit so chalk down whatever, even just a fireplace. Just chalk down a fireplace the day you, you start using your crafters. If you just arrived to the locality. Shall we have some light here? But now also um, uh, the torch that I made is moved to decor. Because it doesn't have any other service than light. So I put it there so we have some, some spooky light behind it. Yeah, I think that's good. And I want some benches. Let me see. Look at that. How perfect it is. I love it. Me love. And we want the one with three, three sides to the show. Where I can sit there. But I will let them sit wherever they want to now because we can do it. Is it straight? Yeah, there you go. That one. Yeah. And then when we get more um, flat fiber, we're going to put food stuff next to each there as well. Uh, 
wait a minute, is my people not gathering any flipping flax? Why not? Did I forget to tell them to add flax to their gathering stuff? Oh, I did. I'm an idiot. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Lily. Is there anyone who's actually full? Rothstein, it's your fault. Please go get me some of these. You see, we don't need much to, to get uh, planting going. We actually only need 0 0.5 seeds. Half a seed. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, more cows. Female, female, female. Yes. Which is a bit old. But they go till they're 14 now. You know, before they uh, lose their fertility. So fertility for cows have been increased by 40%. No kidding. Because that means that the cows will have more chance of getting their babies. Yeah. There you go. So I think, I think the goats have got babies. Or did I accept one? I don't remember I did. Let's have a look. No, I did. He's got a son. And he's going to die very shortly. He's on his uh, yeah, 48. He was 73, remember? You can see he's counting down. So when he reaches zero, he will die from old age. So I'm going to take out his son and let him become the new stud. There you go. So that is how I keep control over my males. Because I never let a, a species have more than one stud male. If I have two stud males, it's because they're both good and because the flock is small. And I want to make sure that I increase probability for pregnancy on both the females and the males making them. So if you have more males, you do have a small percent higher if they are coupled up. Because when you are coupled, you have a very small percent increase in becoming uh, pregnant. By the one you're coupled with, with of course. But uh, the, you can both have, have offspring with whoever you, with whoever. They don't need to be coupled off to have offspring. And they won't necessarily always have offspring with a couple. So it's a bit intricate, but it's just how, how it is. <clears throat> well, if you, think, if you think real life, yeah, then it's the same thing in real life, isn't it? You have one stud male and 15 females that have the same stud, have the same, same male. So you can do that with your livestock, but there are some, you know, there are some animals who don't do it. Yeah, some of them stick to, to life, uh, to, to life with only one, one partner. So there are plenty, plenty of those as well. I'm sure they are in livestock though. I think all livestock need just one. And then they can get many from many different ones. So now we are wasting less food, I hope. Gone down on everything really. The, the, the nuts last forever, oh, a year plus, it's really good. Are we going low on graves again? No, we're not. Yeah, so uh, what else? Also something really, really important. We have an increase specifically on fish in the growth of more pools pending tribe size. Because you remember I talked about previously that um, the environment will adjust to tribe size. And when you've lived for a long time and you have an increased population, you will also have an increase in nature. You will have increase in all fishing. Uh, you will have increase in, in uh, prey. You'll have increase in all plant life. You'll have increase in grass. You'll have increase uh, everything will have an increase. So what the devs have done now is they have increased the speed of this a little bit because it was a little bit slow. So they have been increased a bit so it, it's actually quite good so now you can get every 10 member or so you will have an increase from nature to fit your tribe size so this is really really good so that is yeah that's great right so now we have one farm and now we also have seeds so now we're going to swap this one into this one yeah so we can use that at least Excellent. So I fumbled away the, the the seeds because of course I gave them all to my animals instead of saving them because I thought they wouldn't be taking them all but alas was I wrong. There. Yeah. So now we have a full 900 farm. Um, be careful with putting down more until you are at least 120. Or maybe more. 
because remember they take a lot of people to start with it will take more than 30 to start with because clearing can sometimes take such a long time so you always start with more people than you need when it's well established then you can go down to 30 but remember also that the work hours if you lack people chalk them up for as long as you're allowed while you're doing farming and they will work much longer you know several hours longer which can make you be able to afford having less people per farm yeah so there's there's a, there's several ways to do this you don't you're not stuck to one way you know yeah so that's it for this time and i will of course continue in a few days then we're going to um, aim for having two maxed out farms and then i will of course tell you about what has happened in testing that has been published uh, things that is not necessarily in the patch notes because i always do that i always tell things that the devs do not add to the patch notes if they added everything to the patch notes they will be five mile long so they can't do that they they normally only add the really big fixes and the big changes so yeah until next time have fun and take care Leave it up.